to the channel, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Walker Farm. Ransom's home from school, and we're not going to be home very long because Ranger has a basketball game tonight, doesn't mm -hmm. he? And this video is sponsored by Giraffe Tools. They helped me clean up today, Ransom. We'll show them that in a little bit. But what do you have in your hand right now? Cat treats. Cat treats? You're going to treat the cat to a little bit of a snack? Mm-hmm. All right. What about JoJo? Does he get anything? I'll see if he likes them. You want to see if he likes he, them? If he likes cat food, he has to like these. I've never seen JoJo turn down any treat of any kind ever. He is a treat-loving dog. Oh, oh, okay, Joe. He wants his belly rubbed. Okay. Oh, All right. Tiny. Okay. Here you go, Joe. Well, he likes it. You got his attention. You gonna give him one more, or is that all he gets? I'm gonna give him like a couple more. Okay. Oh, gee, don't oh. eat my hand off. <laughs> okay, that's probably good. Well, today is um, the first day of the week, Monday. Cassie has Mazzy over at violin practice. And tonight at 8 p.m., Ranger has a basketball game. So I brought the boys home from school. Uh, Ranger's here. He actually, we just found his little phone today that he records his uh, YouTube videos for over on Ranger's Life. So he said he's going to work on a video for you guys and get something worked out. But Ransom, you want to go see if we can feed the cat a snack and do some chores? Yep. All right, let's give everybody an update. We want to update you guys on our new Baby Lamb Wednesday. Also, our calf is out there in the pasture, and uh, we'll see what else we get into today. So right out there in the front of the house, you guys see... I hear you, Mr. Rooster. That is our American breast flock, and they have started laying eggs full time. Uh, before too long, we're gonna start collecting them. Cassie's gonna hatch. And today, I was busy doing some cleaning ahead of time. I cleaned up the Ford F-150 because it's leaving, as I told you guys before. Um, I've got to get all my stuff out of the inside now. I'm gonna clean it out and we're gonna say goodbye. So unfortunately, I do hate to say goodbye to something that's been so good for so long, but it's time. And I also got to cleaning up some other stuff today. You guys know that spring is just around the corner and our patio furniture was a mess. So I'm gonna show you guys cleaning that up with a little bit of help from Draft Tools right now. We have been blessed in Oklahoma with a mild spring. The sun is shining. It's been about 75 or 80 degrees this week, and it's time to power wash our way to a sparkling home. That's right, we're gonna clean up our patio furniture back here. Let me show you the mess that it's in right now. So it's been winter time, and we have been uh, storing this patio furniture pretty much just stacked up so the wind doesn't blow it away and it has a thick, thick layer of dust and grime on it. So today we're gonna to get that washed away with our Giraffe Tools Power Washer. Today I'm gonna to be using the Graham Falls Pressure Washer Pro by Giraffe Tools. So this is a lot different than some pressure washers you'll see because it is mounted to the wall. So you can see one mounting plate and a few screws and it isn't going anywhere. And the best part about that is it has a retractable hose. You pull the hose back. At any point you want to stop, it automatically stops. And then when you pull back and release, it goes right back in. With Smart Lock, you can easily use your hose at any length with a specially designed stop anywhere locking mechanism. Some of the other features of the Grand Falls pressure washer include the soap dispenser right there. Also, the wand has multiple uh, head nozzles right here that can, you can use for all types of cleaning. All right, that means it's ready. Has all the pressure built up, time to wash. Benefits of having your own pressure washer include being able to clean your furniture outdoors just like I am today without having to haul it to a car wash. It also could improve your curb appeal for your home and increase your home values overall. Anytime you can use a pressure washer, you can also save time because you're not going to have to scrub nearly as long to get that same amount of dirt off as you would otherwise. Thank you. 
no more bird poop. And this wicker furniture is really hard to clean. So that did an awesome job. Now we can have guests over without worrying about getting their clothes dirty. The Grand Falls pressure washer did an awesome job on the patio furniture. It's gonna be nice and clean when we're ready to sit back and enjoy the nice weather. So if you're interested in your own Grand Falls pressure washer pro, check out the link down in the description. All the details will be there along with any discounts that may be offered. So Ransom's asking to be the cameraman. You gonna do that when we go out and see the lamb? All right. He said, Dad, can we please use the GoPro today so I can record? I said, yes, son. We'll use the GoPro because he loves to use it the most. Um, I have the saw out. I'll show you guys what I was doing today with the saw. We finished up a project. I need to put the saw back up before it rains um, or gets any dew on it tonight. So we'll do that later. But first things first, we got to feed the animals. All right, Ransom's got the corn. He's going to feed the animals. And then you'll see two... Uh, gray ones right here we don't know if they're hens or roosters just yet but that other one in here is a rooster for sure so we've got them kind of quarantined off we're trying to make sure that we have an auction we're going to go to this saturday and sell some roosters so we want to make sure he's trying to get you through the fence tom henry we will have you for easter dinner thanksgiving's past all right, Ransom, it's your turn. There's your camera. You gonna follow me around? Mm -hmm. Why don't you grab that big stick to take with you? Or a little stick. I'm the king. Oh, I'm the king. Uh, this is who? Ransom, you're gonna have to protect me from this uh, Tom Turkey. Look at him. Look at him. Let me see that stick. Can, can can you carry me? No, you're all right. Come on in. Come on in. I don't want to get hurt. You're not. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Come on. I'll make sure. He's gonna stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Okay. How do I close it? I'll I'll close it if you take your stick. Okay. Ranger will help too. Ranger. Ransom, you want to go uh, look at the new baby lamb? Mm -hmm. Do you see it jumping? Oh, yeah. I already gave it. Oh, look at it. It's fast. I already gave it hay today. I want to. Is the mom protective? Dot? No, she's not protective. She doesn't mind you being in there and holding her lamb at all. So, all I, right. can, so I can pick the lamb up? Yes, you can. Oh. Here, just go ahead and walk on in, buddy. Just put your stick down. Hang on, let's let's get dot fed. Hold this camera for me. I want to shut the gate. Ranger, you coming in here? Out. You're gonna stay out. Okay. Hang on, dot. So the first thing we need to do is give dot and the baby lamb some feed, and let's see if the lamb wants to eat. Okay. All right. Now you stay right there. I'll walk around the other side. We'll catch the lamb. Okay. Okay. This is Wednesday. We'll come over here by mom where she's comfortable, okay? Okay. You want to hold her? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, she's pretty, isn't she? You like her? Mm -hmm. You think Wednesday's a good name? Mm -hmm. Me too. So Dot's being a good mama. Okay, go ahead and let her go. Go ahead and let her go. So Dot's being a good mama. Um, we give Dot plenty of hay and plenty of alfalfa we also put that in there earlier today cassie and i did so there's plenty in there and then we give uh wednesday grain too if wednesday wants to eat it hey buddy so wednesday's a girl ransom that means guess what, what? we'll probably keep her for one of our um some of our breeding stock so the boys are going to stay in here for a minute and uh we're going to go over here and feed alvin and alfred i had a couple people ask me if Alvin and Alfred were still here, of course they're still here. We don't video with them that often um, because they're just kind of out here in the cattle field. 
And of course there's the girls right there. But um, we will be turning Alvin and Alfred in with honey and mariposa probably next month um, to be bred. And that way we'll have about a year. That's about how long it takes for a Crea. And we will have them born in warmer weather, not cold weather. So, all right, Alvin, just a second. Hello, girls. I already fed you. They can never get enough food, though. They love it. Ranger, everybody's worried that we're going to get rid of Rowdy, but we told them that it's going to be up to you whether we keep Rowdy or not. So, are we keeping Rowdy or is he leaving? Uh, we're keeping him. Keeping Rowdy. Ranger picked to keep him. Hey, Rowdy. <laughs> I already fed you. So Ranger, did that turkey come at you a little bit? A little bit. Yeah, he came at me yesterday and flogged my bucket. If he would have flogged my leg, me and him probably would have had problems, but he's getting more moody. I think other um, YouTubers or other homesteaders have been having the same issue with their turkeys. Um, it might just be this time of year. Next up, you guys seen the roosters, Ranger? So we have, all these are roosters. I think there's nine or ten of them in there, maybe eleven, I can't remember. But they are all going to go to the auction this weekend. So all these roosters what are... What kind of auction? Uh, a chicken auction. Wait, I find they remember, already passed. Remember that one we went to last week, or last month? Yeah. It's going to come again. It's been a whole month since then. What? Yeah, it's been a whole month. I'm still seven though. <laughs> I know you're still seven. We haven't been a whole year. So there are one rooster and maybe maybe two or three roosters over there and then in this pen the grow out pen we've got it down to all hens so all of these girls are hens except this one right here the real pretty white one we're not quite sure about so we'll have to wait and see on him or her but other than that the rest of those are hens and they're going to be going out to the big coop so we're really getting it narrowed down here on the farm as far as the um uh hens and the roosters oh here comes honey where's mariposa come on mariposa i gotta go cut the donkeys off before they get out go mariposa go eat hey 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 you get you stop right there come on come on little donkeys come on come over here i'll feed you hey patsy hey patsy come on go girls so while, earlier while I was working on my project I gave them all some treats some range cubes so this is actually their second time to get a little a little bit of a snack today so they're doing good so I was just going to show you guys the new uh, project that I worked on today but I think we might actually go ahead and put it to use so this is the stall this is why that table saw was out because I cut um, those little pieces right there but we got it finished up and uh, oh man I need to cut me a little hole right here for the chain to go through I didn't think about that um, so until I get my drill out and get that fixed I'm just going to put our little boat right there and that will fix that so Yeah. Yeah, you walk on that side and I'll walk on this side. Let's see if he goes in there. Okay. All right. That's good, Ranger. You want to come in here? Sure. So what we're going to try to do is get little shadows separated and not do too much at once we just want him to start getting used to being around us and so rangers gonna get in here too and that way there's two of us in here and what we're gonna do is just try to be easy like slowly try to touch him okay we don't want to be forceful or anything And then, if you want to step away from the gate so he can come talk to his mom, that'd probably be good. So, 
this is our first step ranger in um basically breaking shadow to be halter trained but we're not going to put a halter on him today we want him to know that we're not going to hurt him he can trust us and he's uh he's going to be okay hey buddy it's okay it's okay And I, when, I need to look up treats. I don't have any with me today, but we need to get some treats for him sometime. And uh, if you just stand right there and I'll stand right here. Hey, Shadow. Hey, buddy. There. There we go. See how he's kind of cowering over? Okay, now let him move. Let him move. We're not, yeah, look, Mom's right there. Mom's right there. See? Mom's not. Mom's right there. You want to pet on him? Just that's good. Just, I'll just stay away from his face. Most alpacas don't like their face touched. Soft. Isn't he the softest ranger? Yeah. Let me go run these donkeys off. Get out of here. The donkey's trimming up trying to take the alpaca food. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that took some finagling, but I got the donkeys out so the alpacas can finish their meal. Ranger, how's it going back there, buddy? Good. Good. That's you're doing awesome. That's exactly what you need to do. Let's pet him and he can see his mom. Right here through the fence. Do you want to eat Mariposa? You can eat now. We want to make sure Honey gets plenty of nutrition because she's still feeding Shadow for the next month and uh, supplying him with milk. But he eats too. He's big enough to eat, so not big enough to eat like we're gonna eat him. But do we have a brush? Uh, we do have a brush. You want me to go grab it? Yeah. Okay. So I found Ransom. What do we got, Ransom? <laughs> In the brush. I'll pack a brush. So we're gonna go try to brush um, a little shadow a little bit and see how he does. We'll go around inside the barn, okay? Did you know that mom and I finished the um, project out here today? What, you did? Yep, it's all finished. Hey, you should have picked me up. Well, I didn't want to take you out of school just to finish a uh, project at home. Well, at least we did get out for a Yeah, Daddy did pick you up though, didn't he? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're still going to work on an archery lane over here as soon as we get enough hay out. All right. He sat down, Ranger? Yeah. Okay. Why do they put Um, they just do that. I don't know exactly why. Uh, Pet him. Touch him. Feel how soft he is. Isn't he soft? Uh, So alpacas um, will always sit down anytime you're moving them. And then sometimes they sit down kind of as a submission type thing. Can I do it, bud? Mm -hmm. uh, so fluffy. Isn't it soft, Ransom? I want to sleep on them tonight. So al alpacas, if you've never um, touched an alpaca, especially a baby, they are the softest um, you've ever seen so or ever soft. felt. No, you can't lay on him, buddy. He's, this is his first day up here. We're about ready to turn him out. We'll give him about two more minutes, okay? We're starting to work with him. Today, we're just going to pet on him and brush him. And then probably in tomorrow or the next day, we might do a halter and start leading him around, okay? Can I do it? Yeah, when it's, when it's time, you can do it because he's not so big that he you could actually probably lead him. You hear him talking to his mom? Yep. I just stay away from his face, okay, Ranger? Yeah, he has a, like a, uh, like a, those round spiky things. Oh, yeah, a little cocker barrel? Yeah. Okay. All right. You're doing a good job. 
Should we put chickens in here? That's what mom said. Can we put, we could put chickens in here. Ooh. Okay, you better get up. All right. Let's hey. let him out now. Well, let's, let's go ahead and tell him bye. We, we don't want him to leave on his terms. Just because he got up and scared us a little bit, we want him to know that we're still here, okay? All right, now if you want to get back, we'll let him out. You ready, Ranger? Yeah. Okay. Hi. All right, Shadow. Here you go, Shadow. There, so now he needs to go see. All right, Mom. I'm okay. I'm not hurt. And we'll go ahead and turn him out into the bigger pen because their feet is all gone. Watch out, boys. Watch out. Now they can go out in the pasture and tomorrow or the next day, as soon as we get an opportunity, we'll get little Shadow back up and do it again. Mr. Jingles, what are you doing out here? This is not your territory. The porch is your territory. Maybe you'll catch something. I guess Mr. Jingles been a pretty good cat, hasn't he been, Ransom? Mm -hmm. And he hasn't fought with you in a while. He hasn't fought with Sue in a while. I think they finally decided who was going to be where and they settled, <laughs> settled their differences. Shelby, you gonna steal some cubes from Missy and Maymay? So look how big her horns are getting. Maymay's horns are really growing. Missy's are too, but I think Maymay's are out, she's out doing her, so. But both of them are doing good in their pasture out here. And nice and separated from the alpacas and the donkeys. I tried to keep the alpacas separated from the donkeys, but Shadow climbs under the fence, and so I had to just let them run together for now. So we do have a good reason to say goodbye to the other truck, because this one's here. And Cassie has requested some steps. So I did find some online. I'm gonna start um, seeing where I can get the cheapest price on them and order those. But the ones I found are a ranch hand brand. So I have a ranch hand um, bumper guard or brush guard that I'm gonna put on the front. And then I'm gonna put those ranch hand steps on it. And then it should be pretty much done with whatever I'm gonna to do to it. Uh, I'm super happy with the truck. I got to use it this weekend to pull a trailer and it pulls awesome. Like you don't even know there's anything behind you when you're pulling it. So I'm really happy with it. What's this on your cat doing? Chilling. Hmm? Just chilling. Just chilling out. He's pretty good, isn't he, Ranger? Mm -hmm. I guess he knew what he was doing when he came to us on Christmas Day last year. He knew he needed a new home and he knew we were suckers for a, a cat. All right, we're getting everything ready to go out to the cows. There's enough water in here. See how many eggs we get today. I'm guessing about five eggs. Five? Yep, you think more? Okay, I'm gonna go with... Hang on, how many have they been getting? I'm gonna go with 15. Oh, 15? I'm gonna go with 13. Ransom, how many eggs do you guess? I said 15, Ranger said 13. Six? Okay, final answer? Okay, Ransom says six. We'll see. Girls, who's begging over here? Everybody? Who's begging? You, June? All right, June's beggar. Loretta, yep. One apiece, that's it. That's all you're getting, one snack, one treat. All right, everybody got one. You girls are good now, no more treats. All right, we got Ranger on the main and the four-wheeler today. Won't be too much longer before you're driving, Ranger. How old are you? Well, almost 13. So about three years, he'll be getting his learner's permit. Three and a half years, he'll be a licensed driver. And actually in Oklahoma, they have a um, law for farm kids that if he works on the farm after school, has to come home to do chores, he can actually get a license at 14. Did you know that? I wanna do that. You wanna do that? All right, well, that's probably what he'll end up doing. Um, just that way he could drive home if he needed to. So there's extra rules about it. You can only, I think, drive home from school, 
or to school maybe, and you can only do it by yourself. I don't think you can have any friends in there. So there's extra laws around it, but it does at least give farm kids an opportunity to contribute to their farm if they need to, and um, maybe work a job if they need to. All right, Ransom, how many eggs did you say? Six. Six? Ranger? 13. 13, and I said 15. So we are about ready to find out who the best guesser was. Maybe the subscribers can leave a guess below if they want. No cheating. No cheating, Ranger says. Put it down right now. Right now, not later. Now, we don't think anybody would cheat, but Ranger just has to remind you, on Walker Farm, there is no cheating allowed. One coop and one coop. Oh, you were guessing six eggs in one coop. Yeah. Wait and see if there's oh. any on that side, though. Okay, well, how many are you going to guess total, then? Because Ranger and I were guessing total. Oh, hang on. Two more. There's eight. <laughs> Maybe there'll be six in the other coop. All right, so there's eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Seven, eight, nine. Eight. All right. Eight. So there's eight total in here. Sixteen. Sixteen eggs? Yep. I was one off. I guess fifteen, all right? He's poking at that. Hey, don't do that. He wants some corn. Here. Here you go, buddy. That's the rooster. We just moved him out of the American Breast um, pen so Mama can get pure, pure chicks out of that pen. Here you go, buddy. So Cassie has decided she's gonna hatch some more eggs, boys. I'm gonna go in there. American Breast. All right, so ransom. We see one on the ground. There might be some on top, though. We never don't know. No, there's not. Ransom. Oh, missed that. Oh, there's one egg in the box. Is that one in my pocket? No, don't put it in your pocket. It'll bust. Oh, I'll, I'll hold it. All right, you're gonna go in there and grab the other one off the ground. Yep, there's only two. So how many do we have already? Sixteen. So that's ten. No, we had eighteen. Well, yeah, we had 16, so that's so, 18. This makes 18, and Mom and I already got three out earlier today, so that means 21. 21 eggs for one day. That's pretty good, isn't it, boys? That's almost two dozen. Yeah. We put those in there, buddy? Yep. Thanks. That's a big size egg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they lay nice, good eggs. These are dual purpose, so not only are they egg layers, good egg layers, but they're also good meat birds. Oh, shoot, they're gonna get out. <laughs> almost let them out, Ransom. So I'm going to ride the go-kart and I'll show you guys a little when I'm driving. Go for it. Riding off into the sunset. So we do have to go to Rangers game, but he doesn't play until 8 p.m. tonight. Oh, look at Ransom. He had a little... Uh, he was making a place for dirt and stuff with his trucks and the rake. So I'm going to put the rake up so it doesn't get stepped on. But Ranger doesn't play till 8 p.m. tonight. So we're going to finish up and let the boys ride go-karts. But I need something cold to drink. So that's what I'm going to go get right now. What are you eating, Joe? Somebody give you some bread? That looks good. So now I have my nice clean patio furniture and a cold bottle of water. And I can sit out here and watch Ransom ride. He actually does really good as far as safety goes. But I like to be out here just to make sure. So we're going to end the video. I know you didn't get to see Cassie, but you're about ready to get to see her coaching a little bit. Um, we're going to end the video with Ranger playing his game tonight. This is his first playoff game. So hopefully they win. Fingers crossed. But don't forget, if you're interested in the Giraffe Tools Grand Falls Pressure Washer, check out the link. It's going to be down in the description. It really made a nice area for us, um, cleaned up our patio furniture after that long winter. So I hope you guys have a great day, and God bless. Mazzy, how's violin? Good? Hey, we want, we want a W. W? <laughs> no L's, two, one W.
Landon. Yeah! Good job, Landon. Overtime.